I've traveled the world searching for freshwater killers. But I've never hunted for a monster like this. I'm noodling in Oklahoma, and I've just dived into a catfish nest head first. Visibility is zero, and as I feel around, something bites my hand hard. Wait, 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 wait. It's my first flathead catfish. Nate puts a stringer through its mouth and out its gill flap so it can't escape. <laughs> oh! Well, that fish was lying there. Boom! Bit me once and let go. And, uh, and then I sort of fumbled around and then uh, actually reached into its mouth. It's a creepy feeling. I'm putting my body in there. Dylan's feeding me in, pushing me in, head first into a hole under the water. There's something that's going to bite me in there. It's dark. I can't see anything. What a stupid thing to be doing. As fishing goes, it doesn't get much more mad than that. As Nate promised, the catfish is still full of fight. It tries to do a characteristic roll. If we can't control it, it has the strength to snap my wrist. Oh! That's, actually, that's doubling my... Oh. Luckily, it decides to let me go. Big flathead catfish. I mean, well named. That head is flat. That lower jaw poking up as well. But just, uh, just what a beast! This fish must weigh at least 50 pounds, making it a strong contender for the contest. Considering the fish that attacked Bobby Sparks was twice the weight of this one, any doubts I had begin to dissolve. When I first heard people talking about North American catfish as being fish that can potentially kill people, my first reaction was, this is a bit unbelievable. Uh, this is something I've got to look into. But now, having actually tried this form of fishing where what you're actually doing is trying to provoke the fish to bite you and then hang on to you while you're under the water, in the dark, with just one lungful of air, I can really, really appreciate how these fish can potentially cause human fatalities.